Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I'm coming back at you with more Meg Boot Camp. In the Meg Boot Camp, we're going through the rules bit by bit in detail, and I'm putting my commentary in, uh, things I like, things I dislike, but also try to explain the rules as written. All right, in the last video, we started into the mechanism section, which is chapter nine, and chapter nine is actually broken down into 11 subchapters, which they all should be their own chapter, but you know how it is. Okay, so 9.2 is formations, and this should be fairly simple. Um, so let me see if I can help explain it to you, and we'll move on from there. Okay, I pulled out some Italians right here. Uh, these are Apulia, or Apula. Yeah, they're Apulia uh, javelinmen, and that's their traditional warriors. And these are Gaelic uh, Germanics. So uh, we're going to use these guys. I got a few cavalry here. I got two tugs here, and I'll just try to use that to uh, kind of show you what's going on. Okay, legal formations when not in combat. Now, if you're playing a Pacto game, now remember there's three levels. There's Pacto, Magnus, and Maximus. Uh, Pacto is compact or small, right? So that's your, they have their own rules when uh, playing Pacto. So the rules for single files like that is allowed in Pacto, but in Magnus and Maximus, it is not allowed. Two, this is the rule. Uggs must be in a formation that one, or A, is at least two files wide. Okay, let's separate these so that you can kind of visualize the different formations that I have them in. Uggs must be a formation that has at least two files wide. Okay, that one has three. This one has two. This one has two. This one does not have two wide, so that's an illegal formation. A maximum of four ranks deep. That actually would be allowed. This would not because it's got five ranks. And it is two wide right? Uh, because this, you can have weird formations like this, but you cannot have five deep. It has to be a maximum of four deep, unless the UG has only one base left, which will happen with fanatics, battle wagons, and elephants. There are also a few specific exceptions. Note that some troops need to be at least two deep to claim their fighting bonus. See the opponent's table. Uggs may only deviate from this when in combat or sometimes when charging into combat to allow contact. So let's just kind of jump around and put these guys into some legal formations so that you can kind of see what would be allowed. If I was playing Maximus, this would be a nine base formation, uh, a nine base unit. I could go two wide and four deep, no problem. I can go three wide and four deep. Notice how it doesn't really matter who's in what files when you're out of combat. <clears throat> when you're in combat, if this unit required a two base depth uh, to get its bonuses, this file would not get the bonus, but these of course would. So if it was me, I would try to balance it and maybe do something like that, but it's not a requirement. You can go as wide as you want. I'm gonna move this uh, cab out of the way. You can go as wide as you want, 
as long as you are not more than four bases deep, right? I could keep going. That is a legal formation because it's at least two bases wide and no more than four bases deep. It qualifies. It's weird, but yes, it qualifies. You can be something like that. You can have, uh, it doesn't have to be an, a, a, an even formation. It's more than two bases wide. It's less than four bases deep. That's also legal. This single file is not legal unless you're playing Pacto. Because Pacto, if you can think about it, think of it like half base width. So <clears throat> this is, think of it like a smaller scale of people, right? So this would actually represent two bases wide, right? Um, this would kind of represent four bases wide. Not exactly, but you're allowed to go with just one base width with Pacto. Okay, an M1 redress can be used to reorganize rear ranks if necessary. A redress lets you take your figures and say, okay, I wanna, I wanna be more standardized, you know? When M9 turning 90 degrees, okay, when, place, when playing an M9 turning 90 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and turn these guys 90 degrees to the right. Uh, expand by the minimum necessary to create a legal formation. They turn into a formation that is at least as wide in base widths as the old one was deep, round up. And then expand up to one base width on each side of the formation to make the formation legal. So I'm going to do I'm going to do it twice and kind of show you what I'm talking about. You notice that it's two bases this way. So what we do is we adjust there. Now it is two bases wide. That's how deep it was. And then we just take all these figures and fill them in in the back. But it includes the option to expand one base width. Okay, so that kind of looks like a wheel and it's already legal, so you don't need to expand or contract or, or put on the other side to make it legal because it's already legal. Okay, so you notice how I kind of wheeled to the front. You don't have to do that. Because what I wound up doing was taking this guy and then putting him there. Right? Okay. Well, I didn't have to do that. I could have put him there. That would have been my choice and then the rest fall into place. But imagine I am a four base tug. I'm doing that to make it easy for me to move these figures. Imagine a four base tug in a single file. And then I decide to turn 90 degrees. We're gonna turn that way. I can wheel to the front or I can pull it into the back. I decide to put it right there. Okay, that's not gonna be a legal formation, right? Because if I put everybody behind him, that is not gonna work. So at this point, I expand one base width to either side, this side or this side, to make the formation legal. When you take the 90 degree turn, you can do either a 90 degree turn or a 180, nothing in between, 
no fractions. It has to be 90 or 180, so it's pretty easy to decide what 90 degree is because it's online with your basis. You could even put down a bar like this just to let you know, you know, where your troops were and then and then you can set it up how you need to. Uh, or you can do a 180 and that's pretty much just turn everybody around. Um, not a 45 or a 33 degree move. It has to be 90 or 180. If you want to move anything less than 90 degrees, then you have to wheel. Okay, formations in combat. While in combat, an UG can end up in any formation at all that the combat requires. They can, this can lead to bases being broken up and gaps appearing, but there is no issue with this as UGs simply reform immediately once they are out of combat. Let's give a little bit of an example. Okay, so I have my Italians right here. And if they are connect, contacted by an enemy here and an enemy here, That would be how the, like if the Germans charged the Italians, this is how the fight would initially take place. But then if these guys get an opportunity to reform, they can take this base and turn it face to face. And that is considered a legal formation. This would be two base depth this would be a one base depth, this would be a one base, and this would be a supporting file. So command cards can be used when in combat to make MF1 and MF2 micro moves to rearrange bases within an UG. As many actions being made as cards allowed. These can create any formation necessary by the fight they are in. Bases can be turned in different directions. Gaps can appear in the files. Some files can be materially ahead of others. Uh, like maybe something like that. It could, it could happen. MF1 allows you to move any unengaged bases not contributing to a fight. So, let's say I was there. This base is engaged into a single new file to create supporting files or fill gaps. So he could go there and then he would become a supporting file or he could go there or let's say, let's say there was something like that say it was something like that. Now he could go over here and this guy could technically go over here, right? You could fight something like that. Any unengaged bases not contributing. Okay, the unengaged bases can come from multiple files but must go to a single file. Let's say I want to take this guy and this guy and move him over there. Well, it would they would have to be in a single file. They basically form up into a single file. Okay, MF2 allows you to turn any or all bases 90 or 100 degrees. 90 or 180 degrees to face the enemy they are fighting to their flank or rear. So that's where this formation comes from. That's an MF2. So MF1 is moving unengaged bases. MF2 is turning engaged bases. And it shows an example of 
one tug fighting four enemy tugs and I'm just want to show it to you because it looks wild as hell. Okay, it shows part of the tug is facing forward and backwards and forward and then there's a gap and there are one there and he's facing to the rear and the front there's another one here facing to the front and then another one here facing to the side and it shows being engaged on the side being engaged in the front being engaged in the rear and being engaged on this side. Okay, now this right here can only happen if this file maybe had a base at one point and then took a loss and that base came off that's still a legal formation. These guys would be fighting with a support. This guy's fighting here. This guy's fighting there. This guy's fighting there. He's fighting the side of this unit. This guy's fighting with his support. This guy's fighting there. And this guy can support either this one or that one. Immediately, when an UG is out of combat, Basically, no unbroken enemy are in edge-to-front corner contact with any part of it. So once everything's, all the guys fall back or are routed or what have you, you know, so let's say all of these fall back and route or whatever, this is still engaged with that, so this doesn't move it sits there all out of shape right but once this unit and then you can use some mfs uh to move these guys around to rejoin reform and stuff all these can form into a single file against this guy or what have you but as soon as this is broken or routed or whatever immediately now they reform and you choose a file on which to reform the UG. So you can choose this file, that file, this file, that file, whichever file. Move all files facing the same direction by the minimum required to join it. Turn and move all other bases by the minimum to join these. If necessary, adjust width and depth to create legal formations. So basically, you just take one of your bases, uh, <clears throat> and I'm gonna say this one, this file, and then you just adjust all the other bases to make a legal formation. Now once you do this, say UGS, then pursuing may not make any further moves this turn. Uggs who have not pursued are free to make moves as normal for the rest of the turn. So reforming allows you to either pursue or move. It says Uggs then pursuing may not make any further moves this turn. So I'm not sure if that means they pursued, had a combat, and they're now out of combat, or if it means now that they've reformed, now they can pursue. I guess we'll figure that out in combat. There are two examples. The first is a simple situation where losses have created a gap 
and either file can shift. Okay, so here's the example. You've got a unit there, fought a combat, this file was eliminated. You can take this file and move it over to there, or you can take this file and move it over to the right, and as you know, we pick a file to reform on. So we can pick this file and bring these guys over, or we can pick this file and bring these guys over. That's the simplest. Now, if you remember, um, the second example they show is that original formation I had them in. So if this happens, this player decides to choose this guy to be the one they form up on. He turns, and then the rest just file in the minimum amount to make it a legal formation. There you go. All right, that was formations. So, core rule is has to be at least two bases wide, no more than four bases deep. That's the rule. Uh, they stay like that. You can be as wide as you want as long as you are not over four ranks deep. They don't have to be the same. You can have a deep file and a shallow file. That's no problem. In combat, losses and turning in combat to face the enemy might cause illegal formations at the time, but that's okay. And then as soon as the fight is over, everybody immediately forms into a legal formation, and then you continue on with the turn. All right, in the next video, we're going to be jumping into 9.3, which is movement, and I expect that fairly verbose and with examples video because there's a lot of nuance to it. So make sure you come back and check out our movement video, and I will see you in the next one.